Hi, I'm Shalini from the talent acquisition team at Hacker Earth. Like many of you, we have suddenly found ourselves with some extra time on our hands thanks to the global hiring freeze. For the first few days, having the luxury of time was fun. But after 10 failed attempts at baking and 5 half-read books, I decided to go back to doing what I do best, recruiting but with a difference. Let's face it, once the recession is over, our emails will be full of requisition mails and we will be back to the grid, trying to fill open positions like magic. There is a lot you can do today to set yourself up for the success when we start hiring again in the near future. So here are my 5 tips to navigate this hiring freeze and become a better recruiter. Number 1. Focus on employee branding. Every company has a reputation. The reputation is a mix of the products you build, the services you offer, what your leaders and team members think, the values you stand for and your company's overall history. This is the best time to connect with your marketing team and showcase your organization's unique cultural differentiators. Remember, your employer brand defines the essence of your company and is very important in a competitive job market. So use your company's wow factors wisely. Number two, talent pipeline. This is a term that every recruiter has heard and hated. Truth is, the stronger your talent pipeline, the easier it becomes to add candidates to the recruiting funnel. Use the downtime to check profiles on LinkedIn and make a list of candidates who may be actively looking to work and also those candidates that can fill your passive recruiting bucket. You can even ask your hiring managers for the top roles that they would like to fill when the market is better and keep a handy list of names ready for those roles. This will save you a lot of time when your company starts hiring again. You can hit the ground running if you prepare for your future hiring needs now. Number 3. Bridge the gap between recruitment and onboarding. The HR function in any organization handles a lot of activities, chief among which is employee onboarding. Many a times a new employee can ghost you even after their first day on the job. While onboarding may not be your OKR as a recruiter, the minute someone leaves a job role vacant, it's going to fall on your desk. Therefore, it is a wise thing to do check in with your onboarding team and bridge the gap that might exist between hiring and onboarding so that you can reduce the number of offer dropouts and bring in more talent to your company. Number four, structure your interview process. One of the most important parts of the tech hiring funnel is the technical interview. This is also a crucial juncture because many candidates can drop off if they do not have a good experience here. In order to hire better, it is important to work together with your engineering managers and structure your interview process. Right now is the best time to do it when you have both not running after deadlines. Having a collaborative decision about the gaps and broken areas in your tech interview process talks about best practices and how to employ them and work together to enhance the candidate experience during tech interviews. Number five, explore other sourcing strategies. Have you ever tried extra search on Google or Boolean strings? A good recruiter knows that an over-dependence on a single sourcing channel can be detrimental. If you have wanted to upskill and learn new ways of outreach and sourcing, then this is the perfect time for you to explore and add it to your skill set. You can also try out new tools like a different ATS or learn more about recruitment, marketing so that you are in a better position for the future. That's all from me. Do let me know if you have any questions or any ideas that I have missed out in the comments below. Thank you.